Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, we had to, well, we were putzing around the lower city after we finally made it down here, and now I'm just having fun exploring, doing things, because why not, huh? So, uh, for now, I'm just going to go this way. I'm just going to explore the area a little bit. Ah, Twi'lek Corpse, that's always... Delightful to find. And a med packs. Well, that's good, at least. That didn't help him none. Oh! No. Well, might as well. We already beat a bunch of them in the uh, apartments. Oh, they're firing from the floor. That's impressive. Let me try. Okay, come on. Why am I missing all the time? Why am I missing all the time? Okay. Well, at least I'm getting some hits. And I missed all of that. Great. Great job, man. Okay. Can I eventually get a hit in? Okay. That eventually worked. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, um... I don't know what happened there. I was doing so well in the apartments. Now when I'm outside of them, all of my hitting luck has now gone away. Um... Uh, don't know what to think about that. Um, let's return to hideout real quick to get the uh, healing done. Get the heals. And then we transit back. And then no problems. Easily abused system to heal. Yay. Okay, what level was I at? Just so I don't screw up. My own plans. <laughs> okay, level four. All right, so I'll just need to make sure I don't do anything stupid in regards to levels um, in the next while. Because I'm sure to build up a level by the time I'm done with this episode. So, there's that. Oh, great, more of them. Yay, let's see if I miss more. Wow, they, they are masterful from firing from the floor. I'll tell you what. Come on, let me hit once. Please. Why am I not hitting anymore? None. None of my attacks are hit. None of them. Not one. Okay, I got one. One hit. In there. One hit out of like 17 different attempts. <laughs> Fuck my life. All right. Got a frag grenade and some credits. Okay. What the hell is going on over here? You guys um, are behind with your payments. What do you uh, you think? Just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money from the Black Volkers. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? Okay. Tonepudo. Oh, hey, Ganderus. You didn't know you were working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around here. You don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Who's Davik's guy? Yeah, they changed their tune real damn fast, didn't they? I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Ganderus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's, uh... That's their enforcer. Are you talking to him? Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Well, here's hoping he does. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. All I right. time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Oh. All right, then. Well, then, uh, I'll just go fuck myself, then. And you will disappear into the ether. Okay. Well, um, that was interesting. That was a thing. Alright, um, okay. 
Oh, is that another Black Volker over here? Oh, there's a lot of Black Volkers over here. Oh, boy. Sorry about that. That was a uh, interloper trying to get in... Trying to get in the way of my recording. Okay, so... Uh, okay. Um, let's uh, take out the straggler. Let's go after him. Uh, but first I should probably... Uh, okay, clear everything. Med pack. Just to give myself some insurance. Oh, come on. Damn it. And then add that. Alright. That's what I was doing wrong. Alright. And once again, firing from the floor. Impressive. Well, now I'm hitting things. What the fuck? Okay, now I'm missing them again. I spoke too soon. Okay, well, let's try this. Nope. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Okay, now we got a hit. Alright, that's three out of... Now, way too many hits to miss. I, I, I wasn't even keeping track of the number of hits I swang, but oh boy, did none of them actually hit. Hits I swang. Yeah, that's completely proper English. Oh boy, that's a Sith guy and several turrets. That can't be good. No. Not at all. Okay, so, um, we won't bother going that way. I'm just gonna look at all these, just so they're off. Um, where was I going? Oh, I was going to level up Karth. That's what I was going to do. Okay, uh, skills, um, he only has one point. Really? Alright, well, let's put it in the treat injury then. And feats... Um, hmm. Is there anything I should really... Hmm. I don't know what else I should put on him. I guess I could go with toughness. That's a good... It's a good one to at least add if you're not sure where to go. Although I honestly think I should uh, go with Rapid Shot. Just to have him have an extra skill to use. Yeah, that'd work. Yeah, that'd be fine. Alrighty. Yes. Oops. There we go. Back to me. And let us continue. Huh? Uh, this way. Because uh, we can't go any other way. That was a noise. Um. <laughs> okay then. Um. Oh, this is another lower city apartments. Oh, cool. All right. Well then, let's go in there. Gee, we, I thought God you seem to be taking God. great interest in our progress. Do you need something, little man? I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Quiet, Lucro. That's Kalong Nord, the infamous bounty hunter. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. The only way you'll collect that bounty is over our cold, dead bodies. That's the plan. <laughs> I was about to say, that'd be a great line. Oh. Damn. Damn. Hi there. Okay, just ignore us. Sure. Alright. Fine. Well. Um. I'm just gonna open this apartment door now. Oh. Great. That's lovely. Okay, well, I hit him. Nice. Uh, let's go after him now. For the gang boss. That I seem to be missing constantly. There we go. There was the hits. There was the hits I was hoping for. Oh, and Karth is going off on his own shenanigans. Ooh, an armor reinforcement. 
Uh, let's go help him. Actually, he seems to be handling it himself. Just fine. I might not even need to help. Okay, well, I got one hit. <laughs> I helped. A little. A little bit. Okay. Whoops! That was unintentional. That was not supposed to come out that way. Alright. That was weird. Um, I can't do anything with that Ready. frag. Can you? Oh, jeez. Nope, no one can. Alright. Alright. Okay. Oh. I need to help him. I need to help him. His health is very low. And these guys just came out of nowhere. Alright. Now let's get back to him. Alright. Never mind. It's all good now. Okay. Ready. Well, uh, none of them can deal with the frag. So I guess someone just has to tank it. Ooh. Yes. That hurt a little. But I got it the foot locker, which is the important part. Oh, supplies. Did I get that? Ah, I already got that with Karth. Okay, cool. Oh, there's more remains. All right. Well, that <laughs> gives me back the uh, stem I accidentally popped. Oopsie. So, there's that. I should really stop running into these places. All right, there we go. All right, I should be popping back to the, uh, <laughs> to the hideout now. All right, that's good. That's good at least. I got that. I can't get into that. All right. Can I? I cannot do it from here. Okay, so I need to get out of here. Got to remember where I was. I went to the right, and I was about two thirds of the way up the right. Okay. Whew! I'm trying to not blow through as many med packs as possible, if I can avoid it. But, uh, of course there's not going to be every time that I can avoid using med packs. Yeah, sometimes I just need to save my own ass. Alrighty, there we go. And we're up here, we cleared that out. Now we're here. Oh, great. Alright. Oh, boy. Desk. This is an electronic personal message center, though it looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There's one unread message on the system. Let's read it. It's probably a good place to start, since it was right next to a fucking chest there. Hey, Elam, how's life on Taurus? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Hyperdrive. I assume that's a pet? Not hoping, by the way that it was referenced. I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Taurus isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Alrighty. Uh, okay. The strong box is of particularly sturdy construction. The lock is a computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. Because this box is an older off-planet model, there is no interface for you to try and slice into the system. You'll have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Alright. The strong box is the property of Elam Matic. Access not permitted to unauthorized users. Well, obviously. What is the name of your pet? Oh, it must be Hyperdrive. Okay. Who taught you to fire a blaster? I'm assuming the uncle? And... Alderaan. Welcome, Elam. Nice! Nice. I got it, and I got the mod armor. Uh-oh. I got out of dodge before that fucking mine went off. Whew. 
Oh boy. That could have been bad. Alright. Um that mod armor. Oh, it's light, but it's upgradable. The Republic has prospered militarily by keeping its troops well supplied with modular armor, ensuring they are always prepared for a variety of combat, uh, rather, battle conditions. Um, that's actually stronger than the suit I gave him. Dexterity bonus is not as great, but it's still better. And gives him a decent armor. Yeah, look at that. It's like it was made for him. Sure. All right. Cool. Now let's get moving and take out these fuckers over here. Hi there, fuckers! Boom! Right in the face. Damn! Karth is just blowing through them faster than I can take them down. It's like... It's like I'm not necessary. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alrighty. Well... Oh. Low security, huh? Well, that's a job for Karth. On it. Yes. It's open. Um Lady here. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Oh. Okay. I was just exploring. I didn't know anyone well, was in here. Explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Um, okay. How about if I just go for that footlocker behind you? Eh? Eh? I gave you a chance to get oh. out of here and leave me alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Oh, you're an assassin? Ow! Oh! I did a bat. <laughs> I did an oopsie doodle. From the look of it. Um, considering the rest of them just kind of let me go inside, I uh, expected that one to go the same way. Uh, oops. Um, well then, I guess I have no choice. Alright. Okay, well, it's going beautifully. Ish. Alright. Okay, this is not going as well as I did. Oh, ow. Karth is mainly doing all the damage here. Let's be honest. But we did it. We did it. Almost didn't, but we did it. Okay, we got a scope, an adrenaline amplifier, and a neural band. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was right. It was the Foot Locker that I could get into. <laughs> okay, good. Not this thing, though. So, never that thing. Alrighty. Well, um... Okay. This might be a problem. We took a lot of damage from that lady. So, uh... I'm not sure... We're gonna be able to get away with... Fighting these guys. Okay, um, well, let's try a frag. That's a good trick. <laughs> okay, that worked better than I expected. Okay, that was beautiful. Never mind, we're all good. Perfect. Whew! All right, we did it. Uh, well, that's not the button I meant to hit. I wanted to put one of these energy shields on, even though everyone seems to use them at least once by the time we get to them. Uh, it might give us an edge at some point. What? All right. Oh, great. Well, um. Ow. Fuck you. There we go. Well, he's taken care of. Nice. Alright. Um, nothing else here. Did he have any remains? No. Okay. Well. That's unfortunate. Alright. Out we go. Back into the lower city. Yay. 
explored the area, killed an assassin, I guess, we ran into because I was too curious for my own damn good. Curiosity, uh, got the cat attacked. At least in this instance. So, uh, luckily the cat has, uh, bigger claws in the form of swords. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Hidden Beck Lookout. I don't want to interact with the Hidden Becks yet, considering how the Black Volkers are just, you know, trying to kill me every chance they get. I want to wanna pace myself in interacting with the Hidden Becks, because uh, it might be that way too. Don't cause any trouble in Javar's Cantina. You leave your problems and your attitude at the door. Alright. If you say so. Uh, but first, I should... Probably turn to the hideout to heal myself. Just a little bit. Oh, I keep doing that. There we go. Drink my coffee. Damn, those load screens are fast. Alrighty. Into the cantina we go. Ah. Pretty bumping, alright. Uria. Uriah? I don't know how to pronounce that. Hi there! Not too many people come in here to speak to me anymore. Most prefer the fancy surroundings of the Upper City Cantina. But nobody up there carries the kind of Pazak cards I sell. Are you interested in purchasing some individual cards to bolster your Pazak deck? Oh, Pazak. That. Um, when it comes to Bazak, it's more and more or less like poker. I'm not good at either game. <laughs> I am not good at all at either game. Um, Mainly because in the moment I forget rules. <laughs> That's a lot of my problem with it. So, um, I'll be going now. Suit yourself. If you ever need to purchase some Pazak cards to strengthen your deck, just come speak to me again. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. Uh, Gelrud. Considering he's next to this guy, I'm assuming he's also Pazak. Oh! Okay. Oh, is that guy again? Hey, you not talk like that. We just want to say hi to big bad bounty hunter Kalo Nord. That is really broken basic right now. Nah, this can't be Kalo Nord. He's supposed to be tough. This guy's nothing but a runt. Don't be commenting on people's heights. That's a good way to die. Look, he's counting down. One, what that mean? You be funny, tough guy. Uh, you know who we are, Kalo. We're members of the Black Volker gang. You don't want to be getting funny with us, tough guy. Two. <laughs> yep. Counting up. Me no understand. One, two, why he count? He trying to count how many of us are against him? Rather, is against him? He's got a he's speaking broken basic. It's three against one, Kalo. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? Three. He's got three. And that is grenade. And two shots. And they're all dead. Go away. Okay, um, I saw how you mopped up those black Volkers. Nice work. Okay, he's now counting again. Fine, I get it. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Alrighty. He doesn't like to be messed with. Duly noted. Alright. Um, uh. Alright. Okay. Any, uh, remains on them? No? Okay. Alright, well, I tried. Okay. Where am I? Bib Sarol... Sarul, rather. Bounty Hunter. You new here. Take advice. Stay off my contracts. Um, okay. Zax. 
I've not seen you before here, human. You are new to the bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here, legal and otherwise. But they all pay quite well. Or are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's best agents. I'm the hut with all the answers. That voice kind of hurts. <laughs> uh, no, we are not selling the Brack Cool Serum to Davik. Fuck off with that. Uh, tell me about the bounties. There's two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin. The other is Bendak Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they've killed hundreds of people. We ran into Selvin. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Yeah, that's the important part. But not all the bounties are dangerous. Davik got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Dia. She attacked Holden, one of Davik's men. Another for a man named Largo, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. You're not wrong. And then there's Matrick. He used to work for Davik, then he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead. I'll put all this information in your data pack. Uh, how do I collect the credits for these contracts? It's simple. You find people, you kill them, you tell me, I pay you. I know everything that's going on in the terrace. So if you kill one, I'll know. I goofed up, so I decided to paraphrase it. <laughs> Davik's bounties sound more like contract games. Davik works for the exchange. They don't play games. If you don't pay your debts or you betray them, or you attack them, they get even. People bring Davik's bounties on themselves. Anyway, if you don't like them, you don't have to take them. Collect the other bounties. Government contracts. Those people are ruthless killers. They need to be stopped. I could do that. Sure. Already got one. I got a bounty I want to collect on. A bounty? Well, human, that is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? I'll lie and tell him Matrick is dead. I believe you, you. I've heard reports of a rather large explosion, and some of my people saw you buying the Permacrete detonator. It's good Matrick's dead, but maybe you went overboard, human. Next time use a blaster, not a bomb. Bombs are messy, but at least the job got done. Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. I want 400 credits for that. You don't bargain with me. This is my business. I set the prices, not you. You take 300 or you get nothing. Okay, well, I'll take the 300 then. <laughs> I just lost my head. I'll take the 300. You do good work, human. There's lots of bounty hunters on Taurus, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Well, I mean, here's hoping. <laughs> Maybe not on the other ones. Maybe if I get rid of the ones that are just special bounties uh, without bloodshed. Uh, maybe that'll work out for them. And they won't have to be hunted by the other fuckheads. I got another bounty I want to collect on. A bounty? Well, human, that is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Uh, we'll tell him about Selvin. So Selvin's dead. All the other bounty hunters who went after her ended up dead themselves, you know. You did well, human. Yeah, I almost didn't. Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. He always says that, doesn't he? Uh, I, I kind of want to do the persuade again. I kind of want to try it. Even though I know he's probably going to fail me. Because huts are shrewd negotiators. And they do not allow any sort of persuasion half the time. So, uh, I've put some points into persuade. I'm hoping that'll be enough. At least if I continue doing it. But it might not. I don't think he's going to put a bounty on me, though, if I continue doing it, so there's that. I want 400 credits. Okay, well, again, same thing as what happened last time. All of that's the same. Alright. Uh, I need some information. I have information, but it's not free. For a fee, I'll tell you everything you want about the street gangs, Davik, other stuff too. But first, you have to come up with 100 credits. Uh, that seems a little high just for information. I'll give you 50. Sorry, human. If you get a break on the price, then I have to give everyone a deal. I won't let you whittle my prices down. If you can't pay, then I won't talk. Fuck. Alright. Maybe you could take some bounties and earn some money. Then you could afford to pay for my information. You're happy, I'm happy, Davik gets his cut. It works out for everyone. You work for Davik? Not officially, no. I work for the bounty office, but Davik pays me to keep my eyes open and report to him. 
and for me to post his bounties. Davik posts bounties in a government office? Is that even legal? I used to have to keep our relationship secret, but since the Sith arise, nobody cares what happens in the lower city. Davik can do whatever he wants. But enough talk. Back to business. This is the bounty office, so we should, we should talk bounties. Or are you looking for information? Uh, let's go for information. Uh, I don't... I don't want to pay a hundred, but okay. Good. Now that you've paid the fee, you can come back and ask questions anytime. You won't have to pay again. Nobody ever said I wasn't a fair hut. Well, at least that's good. You still have to pay every single time. What do you want information on now? Gangs? Davik? Other stuff? I'm wondering what you mean by other stuff. Uh, tell me about those escape pods that crashed into the Undercity. Escape pods? You shouldn't bother with them. When they crashed, the Black Vulcan gang got out there first and cleaned them out. If there was anything valuable inside those crash pods, it's inside the Vulcan base now. Shit. Then I need to get inside the Black Vulcan base. Why? You need to get shot full of blaster holes? Only the Vulcans get into the Vulcan base. Unless... Maybe the Hidden Vex can help you out. You got a problem with the Vulcans? You go see Gaden Thek. He's the leader of the Hidden Vex, a rival gang. He's a smart man. Maybe he can help you. Tell me about them. There are two main gangs, the Black Vulcans and the Hidden Vex. Used to be the Bex ran things, but now the Volkers have a new leader. Bredjik wants to take over for himself. But the Volkers are out of control now. They've sealed their base and are shooting people in the streets. Sometimes they don't even pay Davik the money they owe him. Things were much better with Gadden and the Bex in charge. Gadden's a smart man. He knows how to keep peace. Maybe if the Bex win this gang war, things will go back to normal. Well, then maybe I should help out with that, shouldn't I? Okay. Uh, Davik. I already know about the gangs now. I already know enough about Davik. Is there some way I can get off this planet? The Sith quarantine has grounded all of the vehicles. Everyone wants to leave, but it's just not possible. Davik has the fastest ship in the sector, but even he can't get off the planet. The Sith fleet is orbiting, uh, orbiting terrorists, ugh, and they use auto-targeting cannons. If a ship takes off, those cannons will disintegrate it instantly, unless it had broadcast the launch codes. Codes? What codes? The Sith use launch codes when they leave the planet. If you transmit them from your ship, the auto-targeting cannons won't fire at you. Only people with the codes can leave Terrace. But the Sith keep those codes locked up safe in the military base. Nobody gets in there. Too dangerous. And even if someone did get the codes, where are they going to get a ship? No, there's no way to get off Terrace. You'd need a ship, the launch codes, and even then the Sith fighters would chase you down. We're all stuck here. Even Davik. Well, uh... <laughs> that kind of puts a wrinkle in it. Alright, uh, I'll be going now. Goodbye, human. You come back if you want to earn credits. Bounties pay good money. And remember to come see me if you want information. That voice hurts. <laughs> Why I decided to stick to it, I have no idea. But hey. <laughs> uh, unique things, huh? Alright, net change of credits. We earned 500 paid 100 for the fee and uh we got xp yay i'm leveled up now this is the last level up i take until i go further on and get the double class thing y'all know what i'm talking about anyway <laughs> i'm gonna do the level up real quick um I'll throw one more into persuade why not uh i need to treat injury and one into repair? Should I put that there? Sure, why not? Not like I need awareness all that much. I probably should start putting stuff in the demolitions, though. At some point. Eh, maybe not right away. Alright. Oh, I can get improved. I can get improved now. That's right. Um, uh, man. I should probably do that. Um, <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah, let's do improved. Get that. That way I miss a lot less <laughs> when I'm using my fucking, uh, using my dual weapons. Cool. Awesome. All right. And there's that. Just blow through these. Get that 
Cool. All right. Cool beans. Now we know about bounties. Uh, we have Bendex bounty. The other ones we're trying to fix real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here for right now with my voice yelling at me, <laughs> which is weird considering that's not literally what it's doing. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And, uh, well, putzing around the lower city. Uh, taking out Black Volkers. And uh, learning a bit about bounties. One of which we took uh, by accident a little bit because we didn't know that it was an assassin who's killed hundreds of people. But now they're gone. For you.